elderly people probably more than any other um, sort of members of the population are particularly susceptible to certain types of extreme weather and we expect uh, these extreme weather events to change in their frequency and severity in the future and so uh, we think that there's a risk that uh, certainly for some weather events that we think are going to become more more important more frequent uh, that there is something that uh, regional planners and care providers for the elderly really need to think about they need they need to understand that uh, these changes are occurring along with all other changes that are occurring as well for the elderly and uh, provision for the elderly so 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 this is uh, something that uh, that maybe people haven't thought about very much but uh, we think is something that uh, will become more important in the future This is really a study to collect information about future climate uh, and also about the elderly and the sorts of care that they receive um, and their potential to cope with changing weather conditions. So it's really a, a study that is designed to provide uh, data and information uh, about what we expect to happen in the future. And so what we've done is we've, we've developed a, a mapping tool. Uh, this is in collaboration with uh, scientists in, in Sweden and Norway as well. So, so actually this, this tool covers the three countries, Finland, Sweden and Norway. And uh, what we're trying to do is to map uh, differences across the region at municipality scale uh, in the climate and how that's expected to change but also in the population, uh, population of the elderly, and in some of the uh, important uh, social cover that there is for the elderly, for example, uh, assistance that they, they receive, financial assistance in some, some regions. Uh, they also receive uh, health visits. Uh, we want to know about their access to health care. Uh, and we and very various other sort of indicators that uh, might be important for uh, assessing their ability to adapt to climate change. The tool is a bit different from some earlier tools that have been developed or earlier studies that have been done. Um, we 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 refer to it as a vulnerability tool, uh, but in the past, vulnerability studies have been done by. Uh, combining indicators uh, of vulnerability, uh, usually, usually that, that combination work is done by researchers uh, and then they, they'll come up with some maps uh, and then they'll publish those maps and say, well, you know, this region is more vulnerable than that region and, and so on. What we've tried to do here, though, is uh, rather than the researchers making those decisions, we have provided the information about the different indicators for the vulnerability of the elderly uh, as... Uh, so, so that people can map them, but uh, it's really left to the users to combine those uh, in the tool. So, so the tool is designed to allow, it's an interactive online tool. Uh, it, it's designed so that the, the people who know something about the elderly, uh, care providers and so on, that they, that they actually have uh, the possibility to choose the indicators they think are important, and they can map them, they can look at them, look at the distribution, and then they can combine them uh, themselves. Uh, in the tool, so so we're not trying to uh, trying to demonstrate uh, vulnerability in indices uh, in the way that researchers have done in the past by saying, well, you know, we've developed a, a vulnerability ind index. Here it is. Uh, this is how you do it. This is what you combine. These are the indicators you use. Rather than doing that, we've allowed the users to have the flexibility to do it, do that themselves. So so it's not really something for which we feel we're getting results in the traditional sense. The results are more that uh, the people who use the tool uh, maybe are learning something about uh, the possible risks of climate change.